I didn't make the choice to come to the Doe Fund to change my life, I wouldn't be holding my son. I'd be dead or in jail for the rest of my life because the path I was on wasn't good. It was a road to destruction. If the Doe Fund didn't exist, I'd probably be dead or back in the penitentiary. If the Doe Fund wasn't here, God knows where I would be. 11 months ago, I was sitting in a prison cell at the end of 20 years, wondering what I was gonna do. A lot of guys like me inside wonder what's the next chapter in life? What are we gonna do when we get out? If there is an opportunity, where are we gonna go? I mean, 20 years. Anything I ever had or loved was gone. By and large, it's been, uh, in my judgment and experience, a lack of opportunity that people have had and not any character flaw or defect of their own. Uh, we're all human beings and we all make mistakes and we hopefully learn from those mistakes. Our folks, when they make a mistake at 13 or 14 years old, have to live with that mistake, branded with that mistake for their whole lives and they don't have an opportunity and I think that that's the subject that we need to address. Their character is just fine. Typical day of my life before the Doe Fund, not really organized, no goals, no motivation. My life before the Doe Fund, I was down and out, waking up in the morning, going to grab a fire home. When we started Ready, Willing, and Able 30 years ago, everyone told us that the people were too lazy or too crazy to work. The thing was that we actually knew the people. They were human beings who wanted to have opportunity and go to work. And everything that we believed about people and the best in humanity is true. For me to be put in like this kind of environment to do the right thing and somebody to trust me, it was like, ooh. I ain't never had that feeling before. The root of the idea is still the same, and it still works. And it's something that's been proven here, it's been proven in Philadelphia, it's been proven in Washington, D.C., all across the country. And the fact that if you give someone a chance to work, if you give someone a job, they're going to take full advantage of that opportunity, and they're going to really achieve long-lasting results and stay out of prison systems and stay out of the homeless shelters. I shoveled steps. I shoveled walkways. I made paths for the people of New York City to enjoy the Hudson River Park. And it's not just picking up garbage. I did so much damage to this city that it's ironic that now I'm cleaning it up. And it feels good. When I got to the Doe Fund, I saw an opportunity. If I want to change, I got to do it now. The Doe Fund shifts that whole perception because they provide an environment where everyone is positive. Everyone is looking to better themselves. It creates this environment of empowerment. It creates the environment of change. We did change the perception of homeless people in the communities where we work from being invisible to being real, live human beings that the community takes pride in having. The interaction between the community uh, and our folks is something that, that, that we all marvel at every day with there's so great stories. The Doe Fund for New York City provides a sense of safety, a sense of cleanliness, a sense of well-being. When I see a man in blue, I feel good. I feel proud to be a New Yorker. The East Midtown Partnership is an area full of iconic uh, businesses, like Bloomingdale's behind me, iconic buildings like the Bloomberg Building. And the men in blue uh, from the Doe Fund are uh, also an iconic part of East Midtown. They are knit into this community, and we're happy to have them. The uniforms may be different, but the commitment is the same. Our end goal here is to make the biggest impact on the city. And the way to do that is to start with those most in need. It's been 30 years of work and 30 years of opportunity for thousands and thousands of people that we've served. It took time for me to learn how to appreciate what is it that I'm doing. I'm actually doing something not only for myself, but for the community at large. You know, you keep the streets clean. You know, you, you, you give direction to tourists, to people. And like, number one, it's a sense of security, having the men in blue around. And I'm like, wow, like, it really opened my eyes to what I represent. And at first, a lot of people see it like, oh, I'm just cleaning the street, but it's bigger than that. We cannot afford to lose another generation of children 
to incarceration. And that's what we're doing if we don't provide opportunity for the fathers. So now I'm in this position where I'm changing my life and my son is getting older. That makes me feel good where I could grab him like, come on Kyrie, let's go to the park or let's go get something to eat. I wouldn't give it away for the world. Like, I, I love that feeling, I love it. It's good, it's great. Spending time with my son is everything. It's, it's my happiness, it, it's my peace of mind, it's my clarity, it's my truth, it's me. We love people, we wanna help people, we do it very well. We can do it better tomorrow than we've done it today. We can help more people next week than we did last. I have dreams now that brought back to life now just because I'm a part of the Doe Fund. It's gonna be amazing. This uniform is a beacon of light. When my son grows older, I hope he says that dad is my hero. That's all I want and I love my son.